So thank you. Uh, I'm Diana Cash, and I work at the preclinical neuroimaging facility here at Denmark Hill. Um, so we're also called the Brain Center, and we aim to use um, non-invasive translational imaging, such as MRI, plus other methods, to develop and optimize biomarkers for neuroscience. So we work with um, laboratory experimental animals, and in this short presentation, I hope to show you how imaging in animals can be very directly related uh, to imaging in humans, even in relation to some of the more sophisticated psychiatric and behavioral uh, disturbances such as stress, depression. Those of you that work with animals already know this, uh, and some of you might have come across this kind of headline from the Science magazine from uh, a few years ago, showcasing research that even uh, mice can uh, dis uh, exhibit very human-like emotions such as empathy. Uh, before I tell you about depressed rats and stressed mice, I want to briefly mention another animal that is the seahorse, also known as the hippocampus. Um, as a lot of you know, hippocampus is also a name of part of our brain, which is part of the limbic system, lying deep inside of our head, below the cortex. Um, and it has this um, circular crescent shape, which, if you squint, it resembles sort of lying down, uh, lying down seahorse. Now, the function of this um, organ or the network has nothing to do with the seahorse, but much to do with some of these very important behavioral and cognitive functions, such as memory, learning, um, spatial navigation. And we know that this part of the brain shrinks particularly in disorders such as Alzheimer's disease, and it's largely responsible for the profound loss of memory and behavioral disturbances that the patients experience. But it is perhaps a less well-known uh, fact that also reduced hippocampal volume is linked to a host of other psychiatric disorders, such as, for example, depression, where depressed patients have smaller hippocampi than healthy people, uh, also post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD, uh, and even those with traits of psychopathy, violence, and callousness, and callousness, as we know, being the opposite of empathy. So why am I telling you all this? Uh, for the past few years, we have been involved in the work of an EU consortium called Matrix, which whose aim was to study uh, mechanisms and treatments of conduct disorders. And so we collaborated with scientists from EU countries by imaging their mouse models, or their rodent models. And one of the most common findings in this work was actually change or the reduction in their um, hippocampi. And just for your orientation, shown here is a MRI image of a mouse brain with the hippocampus depicted in green. And on the right is the snippet of some of our imaging results showing um, brain areas that are shrunk or reduced in blue-green colors. Um, so you can see that, for example, in a rat model of depression, amongst many other brain areas that are changed, there is also reduction in the hippocampus. This is perhaps even more uh, obvious in the mouse, in the rat model of PTSD. And even in mice, even in a mouse low empathy model, these are mice that spend less time mimicking the behavior of another mouse who is in greater pain than they are, uh, is a reduced hippocampus. So still, why should we care what happens to the brain of a depressed rat? This is because we believe that such translational animal um, experiments allow us to probe more deeply the underlying biology uh, of the human brain. Because human imaging, especially, is inherently <coughs> limited there's only so much we can do to human beings, apart from interview them, do some behavioral testing, take blood, um, et cetera. But with the translational or comparative animal work, we can do more to look at their brain tissue more closely by histology. We can edit their genetics, and we can perform longitudinal studies. So I'll stop here. If anyone is interested in discussing any preclinical imaging experiments, contact us and myself and the team will be happy to get you started. Thank you.